Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this really cool custom countdown timer clock and how you guys can do it too. All right, so this is a countdown timer clock. It is used when you are doing live streams and you can play it a little bit before when you actually start. It's so that when you go live, you wanna give it a couple minutes before people start to show up and you'll understand when I show you the actual video. So this is the countdown timer that I created for my clients. It was a totally custom project for them. All right, so that is the countdown timer. And as you can see, it starts off at three minutes and it's gonna go for three minutes because that is what they asked me to create. They wanted specifically a three minute countdown timer to play at the beginning of their live stream so that people can, you know, start to join in and not start right away. Cause when you start right away, people haven't been notified yet through the algorithm and whatnot. So you wanna give it a couple of minutes. So that's what this is for. So let me show you what their previous countdown timer was. So this right here was their previous countdown timer. It was a preloaded one that is kind of like a generic one that, that came with the software. So that's the one that they were using previous and this is their new one. So you can see it's totally different and it's completely customized to their whole brand. So let me break this down and show you how I created this. They have a live stream show every Tuesday at about 4 p.m. PST and their company is called Investor Life and they are real estate investors in Canada. And they do this live show for free at 4 p.m. and for an, an hour, they do a talk and they answer questions. It's a really cool show if you're into real estate. First thing is I wanted the background to have a, like a house or a home, something like that. So this house here with the clouds, that is stock footage here. I'll pull it up right here. And I found this on a site that I have a subscription to and it's called Storyblocks. So let me show you that. Here, this is storyblocks.com and I use this for B-roll, stock footage, images. It's really cool because it's a subscription based and you pretty much just pay month to month or for the year and then you get unlimited downloads, which is what I want. And they have good quality video and I don't wanna have to spend time trying to find free stuff on YouTube that I may or may not potentially be able to use. So that's the first thing is I got this background here. Then I loaded it up into here. And then the next element was the different, I'll get to the timer in a bit cause that's a little bit trickier, but the other images uh, is this one right here where it says Investor Life Live Show. That is a graphic here that my business partner created. And that's just an image. And so I loaded that up. And then the image of them, that's just some photos of them with the background removed. And so that's an image. Now the timer, the timer was a little bit tricky. I had to do a little bit of a DIY hack here to get this. I could potentially create this one by one with numbers, you know, in Camtasia but that would literally take forever because that's three minutes. So, and you have to do every second. So I thought, you know what? Let me just do a screencast recording on a stopwatch website and I'll grab it from there. So for the countdown timer, I went to this website and the links to everything will be in the description below. And this is a stopwatch countdown timer website. So they have a whole bunch of different things. And you can see here that I just click start. This is going up, but I need a countdown one. 
So I'll just click pause and we'll go back and you can see that they have many different kinds. I went down to countdown and you can see here I put three minutes because this is what they asked me for three minutes. And then I click set and then I click start. And then I literally screen cast recorded this for three minutes. And this is what you see here. It's me on the website and then I just started it and it just, it's just counting down. And I recorded that for three minutes. This part right here that it says starts in, that's text. And then I got the music, this song right here, from a website called Artlist. Again, I will have links to all the websites I use down in the description below. But this is also a subscription-based music site and it has really high quality music. Again, I don't want to spend time wasting time trying to find these digital media, this, the, you know, finding the background, finding the song, the song alone could take hours, if it, especially if you're trying to find the right song. So I like this website because they have tons of categories. Everything is really high quality. And again, it's a subscription model where I just pay. I can have unlimited downloads. So you can see I've downloaded a lot of different kinds of songs. So once I got the song, I loaded it up here. And then, so let me show you how I built it. Literally, I'll show you layer by layer. And there's some little hacks here that you're not gonna see off initially unless I actually tell you about them. So the first one you see here is the footage of this, the clouds with the house, right? And that was this right here. And you can see that it was, how long is this? This was 20 seconds. So it's three minutes. So I literally had to duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate, duplicate it until three minutes. Because this is going to be a continuous thing happening, I'll just copy two of them here. I had to do a little trick on them. So if I take two of the footage without editing it and I put them back to back, when they cross to each other, it's going to be obvious that it's like a cut. It's not seamless. So I'll play it for you. You see that? You see how when it went from one clip to another, it's like it had to start again, right? So I didn't want that. So what I did here, I added the transition fade. So not fade through black, fade. So if you add that, then it molds those two together and it makes it look like it's just a continuous video. So I'll just play it here. And as I'm playing the video, you can see that it looks like it's just a continuous video. If I did not have that fade, then it would just look like it was replaying, like it was just stopping and then replaying over and over again. So that particular fade makes it look like it's one continuous flow. Now, another thing you might notice is it's in reverse. So this, the house is on the left-hand side, but in here is on the right-hand side. So I wanted all of, you know, everything to be on the left-hand side. I wanted the banner here, the timer here, uh, Tiffany and Corey here. I wanted them to be on that side and the house to be on the other side. But the footage is on the left-hand side. So how did I flip that? Well, when you bring down footage, you see here, when you go to rotation, you gotta do a little bit of math here, but I'll just tell you what it is so you don't have to. When you type in 180 degrees, it flips it, does a mirror. It's like a mirror effect. So if I type in 180, click enter, boom. It is the same image, but now it's like a mirror. So that's a little DIY trick. I'll just delete this. And now the next layer, was the timer. So the timer, I'm gonna copy it and paste it. So the timer originally started like this. It was on a website and there's like 
everything everywhere and what I did was I cropped it out like this you need to crop it out like that and then I left I didn't want it to do it like that just in case you know uh, I wanted to leave it like this so that people would know that it's not it's like in minutes so something like that you can see here that there's a little bit of a kind of like a little border thing here and I feel like it's a small nice touch because if I remove it you'll see that it ends up looking like this which makes it look pretty bare so here's what I did to the timer to get it to look like this so what I did was I went to remove a color and I went and removed the numbers color so that I could add the shape behind it and here's what I mean we'll just put this behind this so I'm gonna go to visual effects go to remove a color put it on the timer and then I'm gonna click the down arrow then the dropper then I'm gonna remove the, the number the, the color black out of the numbers so now it becomes see-through and then what I did was I went and grabbed a shape and I have a shape here to reverse the order of these so I have my shape here and then I put it behind and then it created something like this so you can see this looks way better than this in my opinion and then next from that was the banner which that was easy that was literally just pasting that in there I wanted it to be on the top left hand area not on this side because the house is on that side and then I added Tiffany and then I added Corey they were already on transparent backgrounds with their photos making it easier and then I created a text here that says starts in so I, I could have not had that and then it would look like that and it just being countdown it's all the little details right so I like that in there it signifies to people you know this is it starts in three minutes and then I placed the song the song when I was looking for the song I wanted something dramatic and I needed something that was just over three minutes so this song I believe was three minutes five seconds around there so it was a perfect length and it sounds really good because it sounds really dramatic and then this tiny shape here this is something that I had to put in because I didn't realize that it was happening in the video until I watched it so I was watching this whole thing even though it's a countdown timer and you know it's nothing's really happening I noticed that when I got down to 11 seconds let's get to the 11 seconds I'll just move this out of the way so that you can see what happens when it goes 11 when you see the 11 I didn't notice it until at the end when I was playing it so I'll just play it see that there was like a thing that happened here and that was just from the recording the way the numbers go when it hits 11 it goes a little bit skinnier and then just something there pops up because it was a, a screen recording now I didn't want to change the aspect ratio of anything I could have cut this smaller and made it thinner but I didn't really want to do that so quick fix I just grabbed a tiny shape shaped it accordingly and just placed it right there at the end and you can barely notice it and now when you go to the 11 you can't see it anymore you can't see whatever that those two dots were oh and one more thing i forgot to mention was on the banner i did add a sort of a slight uh fade and fade out to the actual banner so you can see that I did a fade and it's happening during 
and it's it's very slight it's very light it's just a little a little added detail to show that you know it's the the investor life live show and then i pretty much had it go until three minutes eight seconds and then the countdown timer gets to zero i'll play it here to get to zero and then it does a fade and then they will appear on their live stream and then start their live stream show. So if you guys like this and you want me to create something like this for you, feel free to reach out. My email will be down in the description. If you want one of these custom to your business or your live stream show, feel free to reach out and I can make one for you. So that is how you make an epic countdown timer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.